Good morning. Today is Thursday, August 29th. I did not record Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but I, I have all of the data points from those days. I want to quickly go over to kind of get you guys up to speed. Again, it's really hard for me to record on the days I actually work and have to go into the office, but I promise I'm still keeping to the regime. So Monday, August 26th, I weighed in at 249.2 pounds. I ate 256 grams of protein, 88 grams of fat, and 138 grams of carbs, putting my total calories at 2,425. I did not gym, but I did walk 15,230 steps. Tuesday, August 27th, I weighed in back up at 250 pounds. I ate 276 grams of protein, 106 grams of fat, and 131 grams of carbs, totaling 2,409 calories for the day. I did gym on Tuesday, and I walked over 17,000 steps. And for yesterday, August 28th, I weighed in at 248 0.6, which I believe is a new low. I ate 225 grams of protein, 121 grams of fat, and 155 grams of carbs. My girlfriend has been begging me to go to pho, so that kind of brought me over my carb limit for the day, which is fine. So today, I weighed myself again back up at 250 Point six pounds. I'm gonna blame the sodium from the pho. You know, the fluctuation is normal and I guess it's a good thing because I was kind of nervous that I wasn't maybe eating enough or maybe my deficit was too low and I was losing calories too quick. I hope you guys are enjoying the new view and my new setup and hopefully the audio is a little bit better. Way better than me holding up the camera every single time and having my arm <laughs> get tired. I have a lot of things to do today. I have to go to Costco and I have a dentist appointment later on after work. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to squeeze the gym in, but I will definitely try. Peace. Woo! <laughs> and just like that, I have some clean teeth. Today flew by, work is done. If you're gonna ask me if I went to the gym, the answer is no. I was way too busy today, I had no time, and I totally forgot to mention I'm going to Florida this weekend. This is awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna be working at the hotel, so hopefully the gym is decent. I wasn't able to go to the gym today. I will definitely be going tomorrow, hopefully before our flight today is super quick not a lot of content i really didn't get to record much this week that is on me i'm also trying to create other content for this channel so it's not just like these vlog style videos that i love but i want to also produce a lot more value for you guys so that's going to wrap it up for thursday august 29th i'll see you guys tomorrow peace
what is going on YouTube? I am here in the beautiful Winter Park, Florida. I have a beautiful sculpture behind me. The scenery is absolutely beautiful. We're doing some shopping. I just wanted to give you guys like my three best tips on how to stay on track, you know, while on vacation. A simplistic approach. One is effort, try your best. Realizing that you're not gonna be able to stay super on track while you're on vacation. Almost impossible. You can try your best and you have to try your best and that's the point. Like you don't want to take a lot of steps backwards by just eating whatever, overeating, not really taking into consideration, you know, your diet. But even with that said, like you're still not gonna be on track, you know, you guys are gonna go out to eat, you're gonna have a little snack, you're gonna have a sweet treat. So still try to enjoy yourself, but still try your best to be in line as much as possible. And that segues into number two and it's sacrifice. So you essentially have two options. Either you can sacrifice your enjoyment and be super restrictive and not eat out and make sure you're weighing everything out and following your regime to the T, to the gram, tracking all your macros, you know, weighing yourself every day, or you can kind of enjoy yourself and maybe sacrifice the strictness for the amount of time that you're here. You know, if you're away for a week or, you know, some people just do four nights, five days, it's not the end of the world. As long as you're applying number one and you know, the effort is there and you're still trying your best and with the realistic expectation that, you know, you're not gonna be on track, that's the most important thing. So I always choose to kind of sacrifice the strictness, enjoy yourself, you're spending this money to be here with loved ones, with family, have a good time. Again, don't go overboard, don't overindulge, but there's gonna be some sacrifice. Sorry, I had to relocate. But the last one and possibly the most important is having an accountability partner. Someone that, that knows the plan and is down with the plan. Someone that's not gonna enable you and say, no, it's okay, have this or order this or it's fine, you're on vacation, blah, blah, blah. You're already doing that to yourself. Like if you're anything like me, I'm already doing that to myself. Like I'm already trying to escape the strictness. I'm already trying to enjoy myself on vacation. So if you have somebody else that's enabling that behavior, that's really an easy way for you to kind of overindulge and just go overboard. Whereas if you have somebody on the opposite side of that spectrum, that's like, you know, you've been working hard, you've been really strict, like let's not try to lose all of the progress that you've been making. You're not gonna, and it's not gonna be that extreme, but still like someone that's in your ear, kind of being the angel on your shoulder is super important. So those are my three tips for staying on track. Number one is that you're not gonna. Number two is there needs to be a sacrifice. And number three is you absolutely need an accountability partner. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully when we get back where I'm able to weigh myself, I didn't do too much damage. Peace. Peace.